homes that had like a kid that goes to Stanford and a kid that goes to Cal, and down across the middle it said, a house divided? I thought it should have had an arrow pointing at Cal and said, half retarded. <laughs> I thought that would have been a more apropos. There's the clap, Woo! now we got it going. Well, I want you guys to give a round of applause for your next comic. He's hilarious, he's from Stanford, and he's a finalist in the St. Stephen's Green stand-up comedy competition. Give it up for Josh Charn and Aker. Yeah! You're so hot! You look familiar. Freshman dorm, right? Awkward. You're, you're Indian and Catholic, right? See, I always couldn't figure that out. I never got it, but I recently I just figured it out because Indian guys have small penises, and Catholic priests love. Ooh, he's tall. Oh, Catholic priests love small penises. That was another joke. Um, I was gonna do some Hispanic jokes, but half of EPA is sitting here tonight, so I'm gonna hold off on those. <laughs> um, I'm in half the weight of EPA. Seriously. You, see, you guys see that Butch guy? Jeez, uh, Butch, how do you get that nickname? It was like, is it is either Butch or Tiny were the two nicknames. Like, like, Tiny was taken. Um, anyway, anyone here from Ujima? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, nobody. Just wanted to make sure nobody was going to stage a walk out here. Um, but really, if you're worried about Stanford being, you know, not culturally tolerant, like, the real world is so much worse. At Stanford, there are more bleeding hearts at Stanford than there are in any village in Darfur. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> but seriously, what if, like, every group that gaieties made fun of stage to walk out? Like, suddenly, right in the middle, all these dumb blonde sluts just get up and leave. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I shouldn't call them dumb blood sluts. The politically correct term now is thetas. <laughs> like, what if in the middle of it, like, all the Muslims were just were like, praise Allah, and they just all walked out? I don't know about you guys, but I would get the fuck out of that auditorium. <laughs> or like, what if all the attractive, smart, funny girls just... <laughs> sorry, who am I kidding? There are none of those just <laughs> Anyway, back on Muslims, this Egypt thing, God, huge news in the paper, did you guys see this? Egypt has Facebook. Who knew? I heard it's a little bit different though, like in America, if you're a guy and you want to flirt with a girl, you can poke her, click poke, uh, in Egypt you just click stone. But, but really, what are they like when they first figured out that there's no internet? The guy's like... <clears throat> Mahmoud, <laughs> the internet's down. Have you checked the router? <laughs> yes, I checked the router, and I just got a tweet from Yusuf. It's down for him, too. <laughs> Fucking Comcast. Oh, I was right in the middle of my episode of Jersey Shore. Oh, the one where Snooki gets arrested? Tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> Um, anyway, back to other countries, uh, Iran. Iran. Iran and California actually have a lot in common, you may not know this. Like I was thinking about it, Iran and California, it's tough to pick up a nice Jewish girl. I am Jewish, thank you. Uh, also, what else? Your last governor terminated thousands of people. And Iran and California, oh, women can get stoned. <laughs> Two stone jokes in one night. No, okay. Uh, okay, Mexico, you want to, I got one Mexican joke, alright, oh, uh, he's leaving, doesn't want to hear it. <laughs> uh, we just actually, Felipe Calderon, right, president of Mexico, he's going to be speaking at graduation, and I couldn't figure out why, but then I heard Stanford could only find one world leader who would do it at minimum wage. <laughs> I'm getting a shot. Uh, but I did like Butch's mustache, I gotta give him that, that was a manly mustache. I used to have a mustache like that, um, but my girlfriend said it made me look like a pedophile. I said, that's a really big word for a sixth grader. <laughs> all right, all ladies in here who like mustaches, let me hear you shout out your phone number. All right, anyone who doesn't like mustaches, let me hear you shout out your address. 
No, didn't get any tickets. <laughs> um, Stanford Cop, Stanford Cop. Did you guys hear about this? Stanford Cop last month got a DUI. Yeah, I don't have any jokes, just want to make sure everybody knows about it. <laughs> no, but what was interesting was, I read the police report, he actually arrested himself. He's just driving around, pulls over the road, and he realizes he's fucking wasted. Long story short, he ends up handcuffed in his police uniform in the Castro District in San Francisco at 4 a.m. <laughs> the headlines read, Stanford cop puts new spin on police brutality. <laughs> Because the gay people in San Francisco. <laughs> I'll work on it. Uh, all right. Um, what group haven't I targeted tonight? Oh, Asians. Okay. Well, this part. I just got a new car the other day. Uh, it's automatic because it's a little easier to drive after a few four locos. And I'm driving around campus, and whenever I see an Asian woman pull up to a stop sign, I like to play a little game. So what I'll let her do is I'll let her pull out a little bit, and then I'll just jump forward, and she'll stop. Right. She doesn't want to get hit. She'll look both ways. She kind of builds up her confidence, pulls out a little bit more, and I'll jerk for it. And I'll stop. And she'll stop. And the goal of the game is actually to get both cars situated right in the middle of the intersection. That way I can just hand her my dry cleaning out the window. <laughs> all right, thank you all. Sorry for being a huge prick tonight. <laughs>